subscribe to RA Solutions by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking on the bell icon to receive notifications. And in this video, what I'm going to do is show you a really cool feature in Microsoft PowerPoint to ensure your PowerPoint presentations are engaging to the audience. So to just to give you a bit of a background information here, I've got a PowerPoint presentation open. It's going to be, you've guessed it right, on Microsoft Office. And what I want to do in this presentation to my audience, I want to talk about these separate software packages within Microsoft Office here. So you've got Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, Outlook, Publisher and Access. Now normally what you would do to most people actually, what they will do if they want to talk about each of them, they will talk about each of them on either one slide, focusing on each one here, or they will create separate slides here on the left side with each of the logos as the title for each of those. But I'm going to do this using a method called morph and crop within Microsoft PowerPoint. And what that will essentially do, it will allow um, you to create a um, spotlight when you're talking about each specific package here. So here's an end product. Here, this is what we're gonna end up with. Um, so if I go to slideshow mode for this one already created, this is essentially what we are going to get. So I'll start off by talking about uh, Microsoft Office products in general. Then when I want to talk about Microsoft Word, a spotlight appears. It will show the title of the software. I, I do my delivery in regards to Microsoft Word. Then when I want to talk about Excel, the spotlight shifts over to Microsoft Excel then Microsoft PowerPoint, so on and so forth. So we'll go down to Outlook then, Publisher and Access. So that's essentially the, the effect I want to create using Morph and Crop within Microsoft PowerPoint. So let's go. First thing you need to do, you need to find a picture. So I've got a picture of all of them here. I've zoomed it up. I've, messed around with the aspect ratio of that picture you can see it's a bit blurry but you need to find a better quality picture than i have i'm going to zoom out a little bit of that slide there i'm going to sh i'm going to right click i'm going to copy and then i'm going to right click paste that picture again so there's two pictures so there's one there and there's another one there yeah so one of them is going to be the background and the other one's just going to go over the other one so I've got two pictures essentially there. Now what I want to do is I want to highlight the background image again. So I'm going to move the one in the foreground to the right a little bit. So I can see the picture in the map in my background, highlight the background image. Then at the top in the ribbon here, I'm going to go to picture format and then all the way to the left side, go to where it says color under the adjust section there, click on the down arrow and then I'm going to choose um, let me choose a color which is different. I'm going to choose naturally this gray scale one here, this gray accent color three dark one there. Once I've chosen that, we can see that gray color has been applied to the background image. However, the, the picture in the foreground is still in color. So I'm going to highlight the um, picture in the foreground. I'm going to move it across to the left so it covers the one in the background totally. So that's my first step done. The second thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to make a duplicate slide of this. So I'm going to right click on the left pane here. I'm going to go down in my drop down here and click on duplicate slide there. So now that's been selected there. The next step to this is I want to create my uh, spotlight using the crop functionality, the cropped crop tool. So I'm going to select the image. Actually, I'm going to select them all. No, I'm going to select the first image. Then I'm going to go to the top where it's the ribbon. Click on picture format here. Scroll to the right side and you can see the crop tool there. I'm not going to click on the, the image of where, it, where the crop tool is. I'm going to click on the down arrow where the crop tool is. Then I'm going to go to crop and shape, crop to shape, sorry. Then I'm going to choose underneath the base, basic shapes there, going to click on the oval shape there. What that will essentially do 
it will show you the shape of my crop and what I want to crop in that picture. Now leave that selected, don't click anything else. Go back to the crop tool and click on the crop icon this time. That way it's gonna uh, enable the crop tool on that selection then. Then what I do is move that's um, the image at the foreground to where you want the spotlight to be. Now I'm happy with that. Click off it. Then I'm going to duplicate this slide here. So I'm going to highlight this slide, this third slide, right click, duplicate slide. And we move on to the next one. Now the next one, you simply click on the um, spotlight image, which is that. Go to picture format, go to crop, click on the crop icon and then move, drag the spotlight across to Excel. Click off it, right click, duplicate and do the same process again. Now whilst I'm doing this, it's the same process, I'm just going to fast forward the video until I've um, put the spotlight on each of these um, different icons here. about right so there we have it so I've added the spotlight now on each slide you can see it's added on all of them so I'm happy with that so what I want to do now is I want to end that PowerPoint presentation by highlighting or the spotlight being on all those packages in Microsoft Office so I'll go back to that second slide that initial slide here and I'll right click that and duplicate then the new duplicated slide and move that right down to the bottom. Now, before we add the morphing effect, um, what I want to do is I want to add a text box from slide three when we're talking about Microsoft Word. So I want a little title to appear here which says Microsoft Word, then a title here, Microsoft Excel, so on and so forth. So to do that, really easy, click on the slide you want the text to go on, go to insert at the top, Go across to the right side, choose text box here, and then drag your text box, draw the box where you want your text box to go, type in the word of the software, Microsoft Word, let's sort the spelling out, Microsoft, move it to where you want it to go, I'm just going to put it here, um, then right click copy, then move over to the next slide, right click paste, Move it over here to Excel. Again, change the word of the um, software here because this time we're talking about Excel. And then I'm going to fast forward with the video until we've done all of them. So, see you in a minute. And there we have it. So, I'm going to add access to this one now. And there we go. So now what I've done is I've added the title um, of each software within Microsoft Access, uh, sorry, within Microsoft Office. You can see that on each slide. Now we've added the crop and the title to each of those packages. What we're going to essentially do now is we're going to add the morphing effect. And this is what we need to do. Scroll down to the bottom to that last slide because that's where our um, slideshow will end where I'm summarizing all the packages within Microsoft Office. Click on that, then hold down with your finger on the left, um, on the shift key. And wh whilst that shift key is held down, scroll to the top and that first slide where you've got spotlight showing, you want to click on that slide down, the left pane in Microsoft PowerPoint. And what that will essentially do, it will highlight all the slides in between as well. So we want the morph effect to be applied to all these slides here. Now what we need to do is go to the top in the ribbon, go to transition here and simply click on morph here which is a second effect in the transition to the slide option. Click on morph here. 
Now what that's done is applied the morph effect to your PowerPoint presentation. Now we want to see if this has worked. To test this, we need to go into slideshow mode. So at the top, slideshow, click on that, and then go to the left side, slideshow from beginning, or you can choose from current slide, it's entirely up to you, but I'm gonna show you from the beginning. Click on from beginning, here we are. So my title is Microsoft Office. I start my PowerPoint presentation by talking about all the um, PowerPoint, um, um, the sorry, not PowerPoint, um, all the office packages. Then I simply focus on each of the packages. So the first one is going to be Word, second, um, Excel, third one's PowerPoint, so on and so forth. So that's just a quick and easy way of enhancing the quality of your PowerPoint presentation, but it also engages the audience more because your focus, their focus is on the um, picture which has the spotlight on there. So you end your PowerPoint presentation by summarizing your presentation by talking about all the software again within Microsoft Office. And that's just a quick and easy way showing you how to add morph and crop in your PowerPoint presentations. I hope this video has helped you. Please like, subscribe and share.